Welcome back to another video on the bungee jumper question. If you haven't seen the first video, this video is not the video to start off with because I'm not going to waste any time explaining the specifics of the question. We're going to launch right into it assuming you've just watched or you've previously watched bungee one. So we're going to shake the question up a little bit. In the previous question, I wanted us to find the K value of the bungee cord. In this question, I'm going to give us the K value. K is equal to 400 newtons per meter. And I'm also going to tell us that this person is still 80 kilograms. They're still two meters tall. And when they reach the bottom of this jump, their head here is 31 meters below the platform there. From this information, we are going to find the unstretched length of the bungee cord. Okay, first things first. All the gravitational potential energy that was lost as this bungee jumper fell from this point to that point there has become spring potential energy. So if we can figure out how much gravitational potential energy is lost and then we can put that in there as equal to spring potential, we can figure out the extension and then we can figure out the unstretched length from there. So first order of business, what is the change in gravitational potential energy. It's equal to the mass of the object times the gravity, uh, gravitational constant, which is 10 in physics, multiplied by the change in height of the center of mass. So delta H, uh, change in height, that's the easy part, of center of mass. So looking at this person here, since they're two meters tall up here and then they fall down so their head is now facing down, there's two meters tall, oh, they're still two meters tall but their foot is two meters above their head. We need to calculate how far their center of mass has actually fallen. So instead of the distance from the head to the platform, we're trying to find the distance from halfway through the body to one meter of the platform there, since that's where their center of mass originally was. And using the same concepts in the first video, these two lines here are exactly the same length because that's one meter there and that's one meter there. So even though this line is higher up here and, and higher up here, it's the same length. We know delta H there is equal to 31 meters, the same as the distance between the feet and the platform. So the center of mass of the person has fallen 31 meters. Delta UG is equal to 80 times 10 times, we'll say, negative 31, since they've fallen 31 meters. That comes to a total of negative 24,800 joules. That must be that amount of energy there the energy that is stored in the spring. Since at this point here, there's no kinetic energy, there's been a complete exchange of gravitational potential to spring potential. So that's the amount of energy stored in the spring. In the spring. Instead of writing US, let's use the other side of that equation there. 24,000 is equal to a half times 400 times the extension squared. So now we're trying to get x by itself. 24,000 multiplied by 2 over 400 is equal to x squared. Take the square root of both sides. So that would be the square root of x squared, which is just x. x is equal to the square root of 24,000 
whoops, sorry, it's not just 24,000, that's a mistake, it's 24,800, excuse me there. So the square root of 24,800 multiplied by 2 divided by 400 comes to a total of 11.14 meters. So this particular bungee cord, if you can extend it 11.14 meters, you will have stored 24,800 joules worth of energy inside it. But that's not the unstretched length. In fact, that's just the stretch. So we have the unstretched length here, and we just found the stretch. That's the difference between that level there and that level there. We just found that was 11.14. How long is the bungee cord here? If the head is 31 meters below the platform there, and the person is 2 meters tall, then 31 take away 2 is equal to 29 meters. So that length there is equal to 29 meters. So now I have this length here, this length here, and the mysterious length here, which we're trying to find, the unstretched length. You see that if we take 11.14 from 29, so 29 take away 11.14, we get that length there, which is the length we want. 29 take 11.14 comes to 17.86 meters. So this bungee cord has an unstretched, totally relaxed length of 17.86 meters, and that's the answer to our question. Let's see what would happen if we had the same results. Yes, if we had the same, no, if we set up the same question, but instead of this person being 80 kilograms, we made them 100 kilograms. So all this is now void because of that change in weight. So I'll scale that down. This time, this time, the change in gravitational potential energy is still mg delta h, and none of the lengths have changed. So we can actually do this question again very quickly. Only the mass has changed. Delta ug is 100 times 10 times, what was that first answer? Negative 31, which is equal to negative 31,000 joules. And that must have been equal to the spring potential, a half, 400, x squared. Oh, actually, sorry. The spring potential is equal to positive 31,000. So 31,000 is equal to a half, 400, x squared. Multiply both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 400. Take the square root of both sides. And we get x is equal to 2 times 31,000 divided by 400 square rooted. That's 12.45 meters. So this, the bungee cord has had to stretch more to accommodate this person's increased mass. 100 kilograms is quite heavy. So the unstretched length is equal to the stretched length, which was 29 take away 12.45 which comes to 16.55 meters. So the heavier the person is for the same k value if you want their head to stop at a certain height, say a safe distance above the water, you have to give them a shorter length of bungee. So that was the stretch length, unstretched length of the lighter person, and this is the unstretched length of the heavier person there. 